Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Witch Strandings. I've been really excited about this because it looks very strange, as is pretty much everything that uh, the Scaffold Games people seem to come up with. They worked on uh, Space Warlord Oregon Trading Simulator, which I'm hoping to cover as well at some point. But uh, yeah, this this one seemed very strange. And I, I also just kind of love that they're maybe almost as a novelty trying to, trying to jump on this strand genre. Uh, whatever whatever that means, we'll, we'll find out for ourselves. You are your mouse cursor. Try moving. Also, I should say, uh, key provided, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Uh, try moving. I am moving. I have done it. Use mouse wheel to adjust zoom, okay? Notice how you drift through the water. Is this what? Oh, yeah, that is weird. Okay, so the mouse sensitivity, like, plummets when you're going through water. That's pretty fun. Certain items nullify harmful tiles. What does that mean? Nullifies hex tiles. So, I'm assuming... Okay, so I can drag this. Can I nullify... Oh. Oh, I see. This is um, creating this water bridge. So if I put it, like, here... can I, I? So I can carry it across. Alright. Click to examine items. You hear the green hum of soul stranded... By choice, nestling in the ground, they link to each other for companionship, for warmth, and for a better future. Okay. They want to take me along on that one? Click a, click and drag to move items. Alright, so we've got a bunch of mushrooms now. Um, so we could, like, create a bridge here and then carry these across to, to get more... Of these little mushroom lads all right Pr pretty good pretty cool uh, help creatures by transporting them across the world so as I understand it strand a strand type game is a game in which you build bridges that's what I understand but I, I could be wrong about that dark things live in this fort technically that means that poly bridge is a strand like game is that not true Dark things live in this forest, and you are not one of them. You arrive quietly in a cloud of dust and magic, conjured by the forest itself at its very heart. A spirit of light to confront the dark of the witch who ruined it, one miracle at a time. You are your mouse cursor. Gently swipe away from sources of trouble. Click to interact. Click and drag to move items across the world. Use mouse wheel to zoom and care for this forest. It has no one else. Okay. So this is our something we are meant to protect so uh i suppose i will start by trying to create some bridges the heartbeat of the force grows stronger let's uh move towards this area over here so we can check what this stuff is berries help hungry and thirsty uh, well i don't know necessarily what that means but i'll bring it over here and and hopefully that's helpful to them to the berries, I mean. We got some mud here. Just a little bit of mud. Just a little bit of mud, Stan. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's a, another hex. It's just a singular hex. Um, honestly, I think that just like clearing the, the, the hexes in general is maybe what we want to do. Since there's a lot of mushrooms. There are a lot of mushrooms. We have the liberty to get rid of quite a lot of this hexy badness in our world. What is it? Oh, is this uh, something? Oh, that's still water. The flooded bend discovers your presence. What does that mean? Flooded bend. Oh, there's something over there that I should uh, go and take. I love the, the immersion of this. It's sick this way, right? Sick. Days helped. Um, I can't I can't seem to pick it up. I wonder if I should bring some berries to this. A mysterious structure. A flooded hut discovers your presence. There are holes in walls and floors that were clearly once shaped with care. The woman who built this place with her own hands is long gone. The hut is flooded. The witch wins. So we have some gnarled staff. Nullifies water and quicksand tiles. Well, that'll be useful later. Bringing it back is going to be f fun. Question mark. 
Force heart discovers your presence. Oh no! You can really easily get caught in a hex and kind of kind of killed. So I don't know. Let's uh let's cart a berry to that sick creature. See if maybe that is something we want to do. I don't know how to help it. So I brought it a berry and it didn't seem to do anything, but that's okay. The fruiting forest discovers your presence. What is this? Riverhead. I wonder if I can bring this one. This is supposed to fix broken structures, right? Could we bring this to this? Oh, there we go. Your health grows with the forest. A mysterious structure. So the, this the, this part of the forest looks very healthy now. We we got some points for that. The little singer croaks excitedly at the presence of a new audience member, starting with familiar crowd pleasers. Frog soon branches into more experimental material and a work in progress. You regret that you cannot applaud, yet he just seems to enjoy that you stayed to listen. Croaks to his own rhythm, injured. I still, I'm not sure yet how to help creatures that are injured. I'm sure I will figure it out eventually. I'd almost like to have a map. Oh, 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 God, I died. Ethereal sense is overwhelmed, you lose your connection to... Okay, so I, I made a fatal error there. Something... There's an interesting thing that's happening. I feel like if I swipe a lot, something happens. Lower mouse sensitivity in this... Oh, I, I see. You cannot increase your mouse sensitivity in order to play this game more efficiently. <laughs> Let me just see what happens. Maybe you die. In interesting. There's there's very bizarre things happening in this game, and I, I appreciate it. I'm here for it. Um, so this stuff is bad. Uh, and we need to kind of work with it, not against it. So we can use these two gnarled branches to kind of create safe, safe passage. You don't really want to move too quickly because you might like accidentally walk into something harmful. Picnic basket. Oh God, that was almost bad. Um, I, okay, I'm gonna need to cross that patch on the left there. Uh, clearly there's stuff to do over there. This is a very, like, large game. Like, there's a lot of stuff to do. I don't yet know how to do any of it yet. But, we'll get there. Just kind of moving in a direction. I'm not, I have no idea where I'm going. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, really. We have this thorny badness. The killing fields discovers your presence. That's no good. We've got this stuff. This should help against um, thorns. He came into the woods to get a moment alone. A moment to separate and think. That was a long time ago. Occasionally he wonders what happened to those he left behind. Grandchildren he'll never meet. A missile silo inexplicably dropped in the middle of the forest. Wrapped in weeds surrounded by dozens of dead bodies. The image would be ironic if not for the sense that it could roar to deadly life at any moment. Um, Okay, so we have another structure here that I should try and fix. Let's grab one of these and then we'll go and fix that hut to the north. There's a really cool sense of immersion in this game, even if you don't necessarily know what you're doing. Um, it's, it's still an interesting place to kind of explore. Which I can, I can really appreciate. I don't know what really the penalty of, for death is. Seems to me, um, like losing a day, I, I, like I don't know what that means. So we have fast travel now? Hut. Okay, hold on. Flooded hut. There we go. Okay, I was clicking on the wrong one. Okay, so we have actually made a bridge. I wonder if we can cart things through it. Let's see if I can carry this berry through this. 
It seemed to disappear, actually. Oh no, it's in there. So no, you, you can't really, you can't carry anything through it. A darn shame, honestly. The armored van wasn't his. Roland makes that clear for two reasons. First, it shows that the skill needed to acquire a vehicle of that size. Second, it explains why he would swing across two lanes of traffic into blinding fog to end up here. One bad day and too much skill for his own good. Humming, still tired. I'm assuming what I need to do is I need to find the right items for specific ailments and uh, like certain things help for certain, you know, like some things help for some things and then others help for other, like, oh, there's a bunch of items there that these might be help for something. Help thirsty and injured. Okay, so these help for injured. Uh, the forest seems to have sealed itself around the burnt out car cha uh, chassis. Weeds and thorns poking through land that remains unhealed. Scarred, I did not think the witch acknowledged mistakes. Help hungry and thirsty. Oh, the berries are good for hungry and thirsty. Okay, sorry. It was probably painfully clear to a lot of people what, what meant what, but I honestly, I read the berries as being other friends since they look very similar. So this lad is sick. This helps for only uh, thirsty and injured, so not helpful for this lad. Okay, so um, I'm pretty sure there was someone over here we could help with this. I wonder if there's a map. I know that's probably pretty naive of me to think, but... Alright, contemplating other worlds. Days helped one. Oh, days helped one? So does that mean he's going to need help at some other point? We did help someone, and you can see the forest on the left there is is um, healing. Nature is healing. Hopefully by fixing stuff we can unlock some more fast travel. Oh, okay. No. Kind of reminds me, there is these, like, oh, uh, old, old games where you had to, like, uh, you know, flash games where you had to kind of, like, squeeze, you know, like, through a very small space with um, your your mouse. They are disturbed. Trying to believe in brighter days. Uh, I'm not sure how to help disturbed yet. I don't, I don't yet have the means to help disturbed. So I will get back to you on that one, uh, small rabbit friend. We're all a little bit disturbed, you know? Sometimes, some ailments can't really be fixed. So I'm trying to find anything around these parts to do there's there's a lot of hexes over here i could probably fix so i, I guess i i do understand the uh the strand reference now i mean we are building bridges and we are technically delivering goods from across the world so i i kind of get it i i get um, I haven't played Death Stranding yet. I have it, and I uh, I do was con contemplating uh, doing a series on it. But um, the only thing really holding me back is is I would either have to play it with no music, or I would have to play it um, and and receive zero monetary benefit from it, which is fine. But you know, it, it holds me back. It echoes with a lingering sense of guilty contentment. Sunshine pierces through the ground here and there, weaving a tapestry of soft green and piercing yellow beneath the trees above, light dancing amidst the witch's dark. So this stuff helps injured and distressed. Perfect. Uh, we need we need a bit of that. Try and help our friend down here. I think there was someone down here who was distressed. There we go. The heartbeat of the forest grows stronger. So I'm assuming... Um, Maybe when a day passes, uh, a lot of our forest friends will require another help. Another another good helping. Uh, a, a portion of helpfulness. A new day begins. As night became dawn, you feel the forest shift around you. Supplies rejuvenate. Creatures move to different locations, discovering new weeds. New needs and injuries. Despite the witch, life goes on and there is hope. So, okay, that answers that question pretty readily. Oh, I just don't want anything in the middle because that's what I accidentally collide into. And hey, 
We have a friend right up here. I wonder if they're injured. Oh, God. The thorns are not great. <clears throat> they are hungry. There's a berry over here that uh, very conveniently placed. Oh, God. The thorns. All right. They, they are helped. Let's go and uh, bring this water bottle to someone in, in need. Someone in peril. Uh, this... This location could do with a, a little bit of a cleaning up. I could definitely see myself getting into like optimizing, refining uh, some of these bridges. Maybe, maybe I'm a bit silly in that. Maybe uh, that's not the really what the spirit of the game is. But I, I think you know, I think that's sort of what we're meant to be doing. We're, uh, it's all about. Oh God, no! I almost died there. Yeah, I mean, like honestly, I think that's. <clears throat> That's uh, evidence enough to tell me that we definitely want to make thing make the forest a little bit easier to navigate. We can also help critters along the way. I know that uh, time will pass. I don't think we need that. Oh. No! Did we lose that? I think we did. So you can't place the mushrooms like directly into the hex. They need, they need a safe spot. Okay, so we lost the mushroom. That's no good. I haven't really been over here to the east. There's some quicksand here. I don't really want to deal with that. Oh no, oh, that was that was bad. I'm trying to be a little bit careful here. Oh, yellow and red leaves stab through the underbrush, and in this, their role is unclear. Is their job to ward off hungry souls passing by? or to attract a rare friendly notice in this time between the witch and the inn. Regardless, the berries look delicious. This location up here is kind of a mess, but we can poke through it. Oh, hey, there's another location and something else. Sick and thirsty. Okay, so we're going to um, bring this south for the lad who is sick. Okay, well, let's bring this up. Oh, here's a friend. Injured. Um, I'm sure my my goodie bag is up here that that could help, but I have to bring it back down That's a little thing at the top constantly appearing does make it difficult to see where I'm going it's, the camera is already Like I'm as zoomed out as I can get and it's already purposely Not showing me everything um, in order from for hazards to be a bit more of a thing I have to carefully navigate um, I do understand that, um, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain about the camera. I am gonna complain, however, about the title thing blocking my what little space I have left up there. Even the health bar at the bottom kind of um, hurts my visibility a little bit. I feel like every time the game notices I have my sensitivity up, it like artificially drops my uh, my sensitivity a bit more just to spite me. <laughs> just like hey. That's not how we're playing this game. Our game is played in a different way. I don't know how... I guess fast travel would be helpful. But it would be more helpful if I could um, bring stuff with me. Help sick and thirsty. Your connection to the material plane has grown. You now have the strength to store an item for later use using the G button. Don't store anything you would regret using later. Okay, that's really nice. So we could go take j exactly when I was saying it is when uh, I get to I get to keep things. So we have something for injured, so we can drop that. Oh wait, no, this is for sick and thirsty. I know that someone was sick and thirsty. Shipwreck. Who? What are you? You? You're helped. Okay. There's someone else who was sick and thirsty. Um, wait, is that what I've got here? This is, yeah, sick and thirsty. This game kind of rem reminds me a little bit, I know this isn't going to be a strange comparison, but it's a pretty strange game, so I think this is fair, of Wilmot's Warehouse. Just a little bit. Disturbed. Okay, so we don't have anything for Disturbed just yet. Uh, Wilmot's Warehouse, if you haven't played it, is a really cool game. I'm wondering if I can kind of squeeze through here. I can. 
um, where you basically organize a warehouse and every day new objects appear. And um, you have to kind of manage them. Oh, we have someone else, a moth pad. Hungry. We don't have anything for hungry. Ooh, this is a pretty unexpectedly banging soundtrack. Ribbed wings beating a sharp 3-4 time signature, groanings of grass and leaf lichen, the strobing of light and the sucking pulse of quicksand st speedily forgotten. Here are a parade of sensations, all suggesting that you sir deserve to have a good time. Interesting. So this helps for the quicksand, so I, I would like to fix that quicksand. Kind of, it's, It is an open world game. And uh, there's a there's a good sense of like I don't know um, progress in your own construction like it is a is a, 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 a bizarre method of construction but construction nonetheless it is this doesn't help for this stuff we need we need those branches these staves they look like staves to me but they maybe they're branches I mean every every staff is basically a branch when you think about it. I guess we could drop, to make this a little bit faster, we could drop this and then pick this up and then we can do this twice as fast. And because I did a good job cleaning up the quicksand, I don't have to be so careful about gliding through there. So we already have a, a nice little bridge here. Oh, look at this, a new friend. What does this help for? Hungry and sick. He haunts the green, they are sick. Oh, cool. So, oh, not cool that they're sick, but we can help them right away. And then we can bring this back and help our other friend over here, who is also hungry. There we go. Kill, kill two, help two birds with one stone, you know? Help two birds with one me medis medicine, you know? You know? I'm wondering if eventually we can um, move through the trees, because the trees are our main obstacle. I'm a little bit lost. A map would be nice, but I understand that a map would betray the very design of this game. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make a request for a map. What is this? Sick and thirsty? I, I, I want to bridge another gap here. Oh no, that was almost really bad. Okay, let's go back here and help our friend here and then grab another staff. So that we can um, make a better bridge. I am uh, like I'm honestly very strangely engrossed in this. Like it's it's a kind of a simple premise, but it's working really well. Like um, you 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 know finding these paths that you can you can bridge across, finding um, some kind of like contextual bearings, and then uh, drawing a line between those points is actually really engaging, and uh, like you know, helping the world be a bit better. Oh, this isn't it. I need the other thing. Oh wait, I already have it in my inventory. There we go. So is this for sick? Yes, it is. Okay, so that's that's where having these uh, fast travels is really helpful because then you can really easily take care of that kind of situation. That uh, forest, this, this forest looks a little bit darker. Oh, we can, oh, what are those? These look spooky. Black seed kills creatures permanently. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. I do. Uh, the, the the one of the devs is is a real wise guy. <laughs> Was saying that uh, for every every creature you kill, we will like permanently alter your game somehow, <laughs> which is an, is interesting. I don't think I want to kill any creatures anyway but that's uh him saying that definitely made me feel like maybe i should do it once <laughs> just to see what happens yeah no i'm not i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna kill any creatures it's funny there doesn't really seem to be anything up here i mean there's a couple of these things but there's only two more ruins so i'm not sure what we need more of those for oh we've done quite a lot today i don't think i've helped absolutely everyone have i discovered everyone yet 10 of 12 creatures found. Excuse me, there's a gun in this game? So apparently we can discover a gun at some point. 
Okay, so that's gonna do it. Um, this is this has been Witch Strandings. It's, I don't know why it's there's something so engrossing about just like oh yeah that we have that item right over there. I know where it is. I can go and get that. I can help you, critter, creature, thing, a, a little small creature of the forest. I can help you. Um, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And maybe you want to consider supporting the channel by jumping on our coffee. Uh, I'd super appreciate that. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.